Hi, Mitchell Yao, co-founder and CEO of Torque Trends Incorporated. We converted this uh, City of Surprise F-150 from a 5-liter uh, gas vehicle, 6-speed automatic, to an electric, uh, battery electric, single speed for the city. It's a zero emissions vehicle. Uh, very low carbon footprint because it was an existing vehicle that we converted to electric. We're using a uh, UQM 135 kW permanent magnet motor with our Torque Trends uh, Torque Box. It's a single speed planetary gear based uh, gearbox, all we need for a urban vehicle. And uh, about 30 kilowatt hours of battery storage using a uh, iron phosphate, lithium uh, battery cell, 100 amp cells, we've got 96 of them to make up the pack, and uh, have a range of about 75 miles, getting about uh, two and a half to three miles per kilowatt hour. It's a, it's a pilot project. We hope to do many more for this city and other municipalities. The real exercise in this conversion kit was developing a true bolt-on plug-and-play so that a fleet mechanic good mechanic could install the package themselves. They wouldn't have to be uh, trained in uh, electric vehicles. So to do that, we had to, uh, after stripping the, the five liter, six speed automatic out of this truck and all of the peripherals, we had to engineer, design our package to bolt using those existing holes on the firewall, on the frame, our battery boxes, everything is mounted using holes that were already there by Ford. So we didn't drill a hole, we didn't weld on the truck, we didn't cut, we didn't modify the truck in any way. It's truly a bolt-on plug-and-play package. Okay, the truck uh, in finished form with uh, 96 batteries, about 75 mile range, uh, weighs just under 6,000 pounds. And, uh, we're propelling this truck uh, with a 135 kW motor, which is actually a little on the small side, but we're able to do that with our single speed gearbox. We really made an urban vehicle out of this. It's not a highway cruiser. Uh, this truck doesn't go on the highway. Uh, it's a city of surprise vehicle. The speed limit here is 45 miles per hour. Uh, so it's really efficient as an urban vehicle. And it'll do, it'll do 62 to about 65 at 7,700 RPM, but it's really designed, its sweet spot is that stop and go 45 mile an hour driving. All right, this is a J1772, what they call a level two charger. It's made by Simmons. And we've got our charge port right in the front That's it. This is a uh, free charger, so there's no, uh, you don't need a card, uh, nothing, you don't pay. It's just a real simple system. The coolant pump on the, uh, on the truck automatically uh, starts whenever you plug in. So as long as it's on charge and charging, it's putting electrons in, the coolant pump is going to be circulating, keeping the uh, charging, the charger itself cool. It does have an onboard 3.1 uh, kW charger, DC to DC converter to drop the pack voltage down to 13 and a half volts to run the wipers and lights and turn signals. Okay, so this is the power distribution box. The battery power comes into here and we're running uh, 96 uh, 100 amp cells, so it's quite a bit of voltage coming in here and then from here it goes to the inverter which sits just below this box big cast uh, cast aluminum inverter that controls the uh, the motor the power that goes into and back from the motor I say back from the motor because it is an AC motor so it's got strong regen capability and can uh, help uh, with the range by charging the batteries when we decelerate the motor basically becomes a generator and produces electricity back to the batteries. Yeah, and everything uh, here is water sealed. I mean, it's uh, it's automotive grade, uh, OE quality. The uh, power distribution unit is uh, gasketed. The battery boxes are all sealed. They're uh, uh, 
uh, spray tested, everything's, everything's watertight. The air conditioning is a uh, compressor that we use is out of a Mitsubishi enclosed tractor. It's a high power uh, compressor that gets its uh, power directly from the battery pack. Just in front of the motor is the uh, charger, a 3.1 kW charger. Just behind the motor, bolted directly to the motor, is our gearbox, our single speed gearbox. On the firewall we have the Parker uh, control unit, that's the main brain, main computer that operates everything. And just to the right of that is a little vacuum pump. Uh, it's the only GM part on this Ford truck. And a vacuum canister below to give vacuum to the, uh, the stock brakes. The Ford stock radiator, stock fuse panel. We have a, uh, a 12 volt uh, coolant pump that pumps uh, ethylene glycol water mix through the inverter, through the motor, through the charger, and through the DC to DC converter. Those are all liquid cooled. Yeah, and then through the stock Ford radiator, stock fans. Kept the, the truck as, as stock and as Ford as possible. So we have again the UQM 135 KW motor uh, mounted very low in the back. Behind that we have four battery packs. Again uh, the weight is nice and low in the vehicle. So we've dropped the center of gravity, improved the handling, stability of the truck, and the weight is better distributed. Typically in a pickup truck, they're front end heavy uh, until you load the bed or pull a trailer. Uh, so an empty truck running around is, uh, is really front end heavy. Uh, this is a much uh, more balanced truck, a much safer truck with a great uh, stopping distance and uh, handling characteristics. So the battery management uh, system computer sits on the floor below the uh, rear seat and there's a wire that goes to each individual battery so we're constantly monitoring the battery temperature, each individual cell temperature and each individual cell state of charge. And that will be displayed on our monitor on our dash. Okay, inside. Uh, we try to keep everything as stock as possible, use as much of Ford as possible. Uh, it is power assist, electric power assist, uh, power steering, so as soon as you uh, put the unit in gear, you've got power steering, uh, factory power steering. To, uh, to operate the vehicle, only the brake, we just pull the gear shift selector, as usual, pull it down out of our way so that we can get to our shift panel. Here we have shift buttons and shift lights, drive, neutral, reverse, and park. So when we do put the shifter up into park through the cable, it engages our park pawl, locks the drivetrain up. We pull that out of park and down to get to the shift buttons. On the center here we have a five uh, uh, position uh, monitor. Uh, we're currently showing uh, state of charge. Then we've got uh, motor status. We've got uh, battery status screen and our uh, basically our inverter uh, status. So it shows basically the things we want to be concerned with there are the temperatures. So it's showing motor temperature at 36C and the inverter temperature at uh, 31C. Both of those are liquid cooled. So anytime we're running, we're pumping ethylene glycol uh, water mix through um, the charger, the motor, the inverter, also the DC to DC converter. Uh, fifth channel we're not using at this time. Also on the left here you see the gear position park reverse neutral drive. So when we change uh, positions and at night we can turn the lights on to, so the shift buttons uh, have lights. Then to the left we have a um, GPS speedometer and in our production units this panel won't be here. In our production units we will be using the stock Ford speedometer and tachometer, uh, using their temperature gauge all through our software. Uh, we'll be controlling the uh, stock gauges so it'll look even more Ford. Uh, and we'll just have a little panel off to the side 
for the battery sta status uh, to give a state of charge, uh, battery temperature, stuff like that. Then over uh, here we do have a little uh, paddle switch for the AC. Uh, it's really the only thing we had to add there. Other than that, your blower motor, your temperature controls are all stock forward. But to actually kick the compressor on, we engage that. Now, we size the battery pack on this truck so that we have uh, plenty battery for uh, keeping the cab cool on a job site, that type of thing. If you're doing paperwork in the truck, uh, inspecting a job site, that type of thing. And not actually driving, but beyond the driving range, uh, you've got a, a, an hour or two hours worth of AC. It is a high-powered AC compressor that does get its power from the battery pack. So UQM motor, torque trends gearbox, the uh, electronics and the software uh, from a com company called New Eagle. Uh, they're out of Michigan. And uh, then the truck was wrapped by a local uh, company called ABD Printing. They did a great job with the wrap. Thank you for watching this uh, video. You can contact Torque Trends for any additional information uh, at uh, info at torquetrends.com or our uh, corporate phone number 623-755-6021. You can find our website at uh, torquetrends.com. Thank you.